Uh, joined now by Paul McConus a bit loud in here. It's the players' lounge after the game today. It weren't great, Paul. That's a bit of an understatement. All right, and it was rubbish. Yeah, simply put. Not at the races. Reserved what we got, which was good. Yeah. It, um, I think the way that I saw the game from outside looking in was that um, we've been playing great football for the last seven, eight games, maybe even more. We weren't allowed to play any football today. Well, whether we were allowed to or not, we didn't. Should have been brave on the ball. But we turned it into possibly from well done from them, but into their game. Yeah. That's what they got up. And that's what we tried and weren't as good as they it was a it was a strange sort of like pitch, was it? It was very, very narrow and so there there wasn't a lot of room out there. Yeah, but it, it suits them, doesn't it? That's how they play. Playing along the diagonal rules occasionally from them and that's what their success is. Um, one of the chance we should have probably dealt with it. Um, what I don't understand is how a player can get their shirt ripped off their back in the penalty area and a handball and nothing is given. <laughs> oh dear, what, what, what can we do? We can only do so much. We, we, the ref will see what we see. Um, unfortunately, we can't make the decision for him. He hasn't been given. We can only go with what he says, unfortunately. I've, I've, I've learned many a times from him again, but we can bombard them with players, with shouting, with whatever you want. Unfortunately, it makes no difference to the decision they make, so you kind of have to move on and try and do it yourself. The, the, the referee seemed to set his stall out very, very early. There were a heck of a lot of free kicks blown for in the first five, six minutes. Yeah, which then set the time for the game. It seemed to be a, a load of box kind of game, didn't it? It, 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 it did, and it was it was strange. We, we played a lot better second half, I thought. We'd actually tried taking the game to him, and, and we got a few chances. And um, Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it, a few it, half chances, I, yeah. think I don't think they were great chances. Yeah. Uh, you know, neither team, open or the team, or whichever way you want to look at it. They got the goal and they sat and didn't need to work on something. Like Absolutely. I mean, we were acting as ball boys, basically, yeah. all game from the 28th minute after they scored. Yeah. Which if you give them the due, it works, isn't it? Okay, um, you've got two training sessions next week, and then we've got a massive three home games in a week. Big, big. Well, you said personally that the, the four games that we had in the game today were key games. Today hasn't gone our way, which makes the next one even more important. Um, Vaughan is coming today, first game, probably the first opportunity to get in with you guys. He looked okay, didn't he? Vaughan is an old head who's been around the game for a long time. He's top one, good character at the end, and hopefully he can see us over the line of what we're trying to do at the pass. Yep. Um, we've been playing too well to let this affect us too much. Luckily, results have gone our way today, and nothing's really been affected at all. But, you know, we're good enough to pull ourselves in mid-table, aren't we? Great positive note to take there, really. Um, simply, if we can turn the next few games how we should be. Today is Drew a line and literally move on. But that only counts if we can do, produce what we can in the next three games. Cheers, Maka.